Hello y'all and welcome back to The House of Da Vinci 3, chapter number 2. This is your favorite gaming girl, Alexander04, and let's begin. Now we were supposed to go to this Luca Pecciolli's house. Now where is it? So from Torino or Turin, we went past Milan or Milano. Not going back to Ferrara. That's where the place is. That's where our jail was. <laughs> Villa Luca Pacioli, Northern Tuscany. Northern Tuscany? What a coincidence. Actually, speaking of Tuscany, I wanted to tell you guys that on the 26th, um, I'll be going on a trip to a week long trip, trip to Rome for starting on the 26th. And actually, we were also planning on going to Tuscany from the city of Rome, but instead, we decided to switch it to Milan. So that's what, no, not Milan, Venice, Venice rather, I think, yeah, Venice. Because Venice, of course, is a city of canals and gondolas. <laughs> so yeah, that's what it is. Let's see what's here in Northern Tuscany and what is it like. So this is the place, huh? It looks really mountainous and it's nighttime already. Hmm. I suppose this place is really remote. House of Luca Pacioli. I followed the instructions Leonardo left me and found Luca Pacioli's villa. It's quite remote but nicely restored and walled off with a high wall. The house is completely silent but it is too early to draw on any conclusions. Besides, this is where we're supposed to meet and I need to get in. Of course, then let's go. Alright, this Leonardo could have only made this mechanism. Yep, only he could have made it. But I feel that this is recent, not for, uh, meaning that it hasn't been here for a long time. Too easy. All right, we're in. Hmm. This looks like a furnace of some sort with the head shaped like a dragon. Yep. There's fire coming out from this dragon headed chimney. Hmm. All right. This ought to light up the way. Oh, that's the sound of my footsteps. Hmm. Well, let's go to this door now and see if we can come in. The door is barricaded from the inside. Alright, guess we're gonna have to put in some manly force. <coughs> Alright. Hello? Anybody home? Sir? Luca? The house is empty. I should have known, of course. Leonardo probably already left, but I'm sure he must have left me a message. As always, he has re always left. The main door was barricaded from the inside, but I managed to open it with a good deal of brute force. 
Seems now that Leonardo nor his friend Luca are here. I need to find out what happened to them, but it looks like their departure, however rushed, was voluntary. You mean like they left at their own accord, not by force? Anyway, let's put this book down and see what this weight mechanism shows up. Dearest friend, I'm glad you were able to find both this residence and what we came to the scriptorium for. As you surely notice, this place is deserted. My friend, who you, you know who I am talking about, and I decided to go to the place where we will all meet. I'm sorry about this test, but I need to be sure that whoever is reading these words is indeed you. Of course, he had to go to extreme measures for security. Look around, be perceptive, and know that the wind will whisper about the path to take. A friend. Hmm, wonder what did he mean by that? The last line seems pretty enigmatic. P.S. As always, I wish you good luck and an open mind. Of course, of course. That's all I have anyway. Sorry about that. As expected, the master left me another message. I was intrigued by the rooster sketch and the words the wind will whisper about the path to take. That must mean something. Either way, I have to do everything I can to pass Leonardo's test. Knowing him, it won't be easy, but it's sure to make it hard for anyone who wants to follow us. Oh well, I'm sure everything he does is necessary in the long run, I suppose. Oh well, let's go about to this one. Place this strange looking le lever here. Oh, sorry guys, I thought I'd stop recording for some reason. Sorry about that. Yes. Well, not that was smooth. What is this? A makeshift workshop? Behind a massive door, I found a room where Leonardo probably spent a lot of time in recent years. The study he used during his time with Luca. It reminded me of his workshops in both Florence and Milan. Seems like only yesterday that I was entering his service under rather unfortunate circumstances. Ah yes, but this journey we both shared? So many memories. Everything in the room conveys Leonardo's style. Ornamental but practical furniture and lots of mechanical models. Tools and gadgets. You can see that the master had a, f a free hand in his work. Yeah, whatever that means. 
On one hand, I'm sorry, Leonardo, and I won't be meeting here. But on the other, I'm very much looking forward to testing all his inventions myself. Okay, I don't understand why he was sorry. Some people would pay handsomely for such an opportunity. For example, Cesare Borgia, of course. Though he would be more interested in discovering the master secret and using his knowledge to gain more power instead of better understanding of their functionality. Yeah, Mr. You Know Who is apparently the one who would do that. Dragons have always fascinated me. Creatures of myths, legends, and fairy tales that instill fear into the hearts of grown men. <laughs> grown men. In my drawings, I always depict them based on anatomical models of existing animals. The human imagination is powerful, but it is nothing compared to the reality of nature. I can't portray pride, guile, guile or cruelty better than through the eyes of a feline. I can't imagine stronger armor than the scales of a great lizard. But there is one characteristic of dragons for which I cannot find inspiration in nature, and that is the ability to breed fire. And that is what I was thinking about when I designed the new lighting for the Axis Road to Lucas Mansion. Along with the metal body of dragons of the dragon's head, I set about repairing the bell tower. The clapper of the bell was nowhere to be found, so I asked Luca to have a new one made. I designed the top. Sorry, I designed the top of it with a a six-sided cross section so that it could be mounted on a fixed axis like the one I used for a wine cart. For example, if we decide to mechanize the if the bell in the future, I'd hate to change it again. Yeah, well that almost a bit of it went over my head, but either way, it's always very really intriguing to hear it from it from him. Art model. Hmm. I can keep it here. What's this? Ornamental lever part. Hmm. And I think I know where we can get the other part, which is the hinge. Over here. Iron bound disc. Now it's a full blown le liver. Lever. <laughs> liver. My mistake, folks. I tend to almost rhyme things quite much. Did that get just open by itself? Eh, all of this is a mechanism. It's amazing how Leonardo's mind was so analytical. And now I just noticed one thing, folks, that maybe that since he was an innovator, he was basically the Renaissance engineer. I mean, he did design a lot of mechanisms that pretty much inspired our generation now and the present day. I mean, this is, must be the beauty of engineering. You can build stuff and the way they work out is, is basically magical in its own way. Let's put this cross-shaped key in. There has to be some clue. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, there's a portal up there. But where? Oh, up on that part. Yeah, somewhere over on that area. Yeah, somewhere over there. What is all of this? What's all these wine jars? Nice wine jars, but also very heavy. If I want to see what is behind them, I'll need to find a way to remove them. Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't we? Let's go back. Hmm. We were here. Over here, yeah. Now we have to uh, arrange these guys in a way that corresponds to these lines. So for a top row, 
we can go for down then left then bottom left this is from left to right by the way for the top part then the middle part is same left to right uh, bottom right and then straight down and finally for the bottom it is top left top left and then left sorry top right top right left my mistake folks verify model oh i didn't notice this other letter here today i felt a tinge of regret that i did not bring some of my wine seedlings with me Luca told me he would like to expand his wine yard and I decided to help him. He gave me the former granary to use as my workshop and I started making a model. The biggest problem with the wine yard is water. The grapevine suffers from a lack of moisture as Luca is very often on the road, whether fulfilling his duties as a friar or getting new material for his books. But even when he, he stops at home, the well is a long way off and watering even the few hours of wines is a lengthy and difficult process. I had to figure out a transportation system for water, grapes, and the final product, wine. The obvious solution is livestock, but there is no room for that. Plus, the ground is too soft for a normal car. For a normal car, but if I could create suitable tracks made of solid material for it, for it, perhaps in time we could even repair and use the old windmill in the middle of the garden to pump water. The master has stayed with Lucas since he passed through the gate and into the past. As soon as he laid his eyes on the old windmill, he was fascinated and thought about how to make it useful. So he stayed with Luca for that long. Hmm. Must be interesting. I think this has some significance. Let's take this. And this, there must be something inside. Yeah, key. Let's go back to this model of the cart. Look at it go. Smooth. Okay, we'll come back and figure out more for it later. Right now, I know where we can use this wooden plate with protrusions. Now that we can take this lion statue and I also know a good use for that as well. This must be the well that he was talking about. Look at the mechanism from it. What is this? It's like it's literally covering the entire thing. Hmm. He must have put it must have put in a very a lot of thought into making a mechanism to extract water. What a thinker. Now this is done, we can go up the stairs and we'll get another letter. Hello Luca, last time you asked me why I didn't create something more interesting than my ever-present mazes, so I thought I'd make you happy. Whatever it, what you see before you is a weapon I fashioned after Master Gianetti's crossbow. Okay, I don't know who's Master Gianetti, but I guess I'll have to, I'll have to Google him later. With my repeatable mechanism added, it's rapid fire, penetrating and yet penetrating and accurate. I set up some targets in the yard. You'll find bolts in the study downstairs. Hmm. Okay, I don't. I forgot what it meant. What that was. So wind. Ah, uh, I forgot. Oh well. Hmm. I. So this is what happened in the past, huh? Which is two years ago. 
It seems that at some point in, his, in the history of this mansion, a tornado came and tore the veins of the old mill. The clot would normally withstand such, a, such an onslaught, but it's possible that no one bothered to tilt the blades. After all, as a friar, Luca is frequently on the road. According to Leonardo, he is usually either lecturing somewhere or pestering traders from faraway lands to teach him some of the magic trades tricks he, he enjoys so much. Hmm. Let's press grandmother. We can then get that, um, get that thing from up from downstairs, the magazine or whatever it is, the bolts. Yeah, well, we need something. Let's go back to the present. Can I go from here then? What's that though? Ah. Hmm. So this can move about then. The wooden compass is blocked. Huh. But this is but this drawer isn't. This wooden frame. Hmm. Not too shabby. I think this is where we can load it. I was right. Full magazine. Magazine. <laughs> magazine is basically a book that's what we do know. Magazine today is basically the book for God knows what sort of pictures. Type you get from get alongside the newspapers. Oh uh, well, I guess. Every word has different meanings, I suppose. Or some words, at least. Eh. We can now load this. Get rid of the wine jars that have been destroying us. Or whatever red marks are there. Hmm. Bullseye. Now let's get at these wine jars as well. Bye bye. Goodbye. And then this one also. Goodbye. Now, are there any more? Let's turn this this um, bridge around and see where we can get more. If there are any. Okay, I guess that's about it, but let's also check out this sign. Hmm. Ring with ornamental handle. Ornamental handle then.
I think I know where we can use this one. What's this? The first thing one notices is the center of Luca's entire estate is that the center of Luca's entire estate is an old windmill, old mill. But long years of use and equally long years of inaction have taken their toil on it. If we're going to use it for irrigation, we must make the necessary repairs first. But I never believed more, more repairs would be enough. One of the reasons the mill is in such a bad shape is that the veins which rotate at different angles destabilizing the whole mechanism. Determined to prevent this in the future, I linked the rotation of the veins with gears. However, after adjusting a mechanism, rotating the tilt of the veins proved to be a very demanding activity, so I added more and controls. A new and stronger metal axis with a proper handle that allows you to use your whole body to move it. Once I finish the Archimedes screw in the workshop annex, I can place it in the well and the irrigation system will be ready. Ooh, what's this word in folded? Sketch of a windmill. Hmm. What's over there? Hmm, it's pretty high, I must admit. Let's go back. And by go back, I mean go back exactly to the past. Sorry, sorry to the present. We're already in the past. Oh, there is one wine jar left. But where though? Let's I think we'll also have to go on the I can't shoot unless the crossbow is dealt with arrows. But where is that anyway? I'm sure I did all of them. Let's first deal with this, these two here. What is this though? Oh, it's a structure of the heart. Man, he, look, look at the sketches this guy has made. The quality is like so... So realistic. I've got no words for it. There's an Archimedes Ac screw model. And I know where we can keep it. Here. What's that? So that's how they will load the screw and connect it to the windmill. What's this round key for? Hmm, I not sure but i think i know where we can use it over here right here metal crank eh. let's go back outside but first let's go back to the past
That is, and by past, I mean two years into the past to find where that stupid missing wine jar is. The one which I didn't shoot. Hmm. Now we can load this. Oh man, I didn't finish loading this thing up. I just came to the past empty handed with an empty magazine. Or magazine. Manga. Manga with magazine. Manga. Sounds like manga. <laughs> Get it? <sighs> Let's first load this up before we. I forget it again. Now we can load this. Maybe it's that one over there, right? I think I'll just check. Yes. I knew it. Now that this is dealt with, we can now finally go back to the, pa the present. Sorry, because I just always have a habit of saying that past, past, past. <laughs> oh well. Hmm, something must be just preventing the gate from opening. Let's see what's over in that end. A clapper. Oh, so it's connected to. So this gate is connected to the above then. Gate mechanism is too far away. I think I know what I can do about it though. Let's first go back to the cart and. See if we can get it moving. Look at it go. Smooth as an arrow. Now we can climb onto it and then use this. Okay, I'm pretty sure that whoever is following us would definitely not have that much of patience to actually deal with all of these puzzles. Gotta admit, the Leonardo surely put a lot of thought into all of this. <laughs> See if the gate is now unblocked, I think I can open it using a mechanism on the upper floor.
Sorry about the feather, the certain side. He actually he un unplugged my earphones. I think it was maybe my cat. Yeah, but how? Oh, right. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I just, <laughs> I just saw my dad playing with my cat, so that's why I got a bit distracted. I just love my cat a lot. Anyway, so we were on our way up here, up these flight of stairs, and we can now open it. Let's go back to that makeshift workshop and see if we can get that thing to move. Although, before that... Just as I thought, there's something on this part of that large Archimedes screw. Hmm. I think this is about it, so let's go. Now that this has this book has been here. wheel and I think I finally finally remember where we can use it over here right here I'll be taking this and this as well Oh, and also this cutter. There anything else that I might want to know? Nope. All right. Now I know why we can use this cutter. We can use it to unbound those chains and unlock this this door that's barring us from moving forward. mistake folks my stylus slipped off the screen tool with cross shaped handle now it's loaded onto the cart Metal crank part. Now oh, it's missing something. Oh well, I guess this part is... This part of putting the Archimedes screw is done. Let's go back outside. Well, let's watch it before this thing actually hits us hard. Judging by the screws around it, it would have definitely cut our head if we're not careful. 
And there it goes. This is all too easy, folks. Way too easy. Some are just a mixture of too hard and too easy, I suppose. Hand plane handle. Mm, I think I remember where we can use it. Here it is. In here. ornamental liver part we can take this and use it to turn the direction of the cart towards the the well now that this is done we can attach this thing or before that rather Let's, we had to load it then. How many Leonardo is actually making us do all of this linear, this menial tasks alone? That too. What fell? Looks like a weight. Massive weight. <laughs> Massive. And I know we have to go back to the past and put it in a place that I do remember clearly actually. Not here, not here. I think maybe I'm understanding though. We'll have to make I'm understanding what's the whole purpose. We're trying to prevent the the mill from breaking down in the present and being in the condition it is. Just as I thought. Just as I thought. Now it's now now it's working. And the water is coming as well. By changing the direction of the cloth, we were able to do that. And this is also an elevator, I see. <laughs> the first ever elevator made. Quite ingenious and practical, I must say. Now let's just stop wasting water and quickly go up and so that we could store it, at least. So that leads directly to that roof and onto this um, the wind direction maker, sorry, direction seeker, I suppose, the rooster. How 
I'm trying to find out what is the name for that. No, I can't seem to remember it though. No, right? Yeah, sorry. I just understood what this is. This is a vet. This whole thing is this entire, yeah, this entire thing. The one with the rooster on it. This is a weather cock, actually. It helps in showing the direction of the wind and how fast and intense it is. And if I remember correctly, there was also a, co a rooster on this um, one of the letters when we got at the beginning of this chapter. Yeah, this one. So I guess that he was just telling us to find out to go to this weather cock that was present on the roof. I can't believe that this was even used in the Renaissance period. Well, it is Europe at the end of the day, so I, in Europe is quite a countryside. Dear Giacomo, once again, I'm sorry for the test you just passed. It was necessary as we can't afford to be surprised the way we were at Sacre de Saint-Michel. If you think about it, you might not be surprised to hear that Luca Pacioli and I are in Rome. Yep, that's where I'm heading for in the, on the 26th. Rome is a huge city. And some of its less beautiful neighborhoods are ideal for people who need to stay out of sight. Especially when those watching could be anywhere. Property of the shanty towns in Rome is important to us for several reasons, but I'll tell you more in person. You'll find us in an inn called the Ball Lady. Be careful. I look forward to seeing you again. P.S. Don't forget to print the chronicle. You know best where you put it. Well, what does he mean by if you think about it, we might not, that I won't be surprised that they're in Rome? Part of Bronze Chalice. Leonard, Leonardo wrote that the wind would whisper about the part to take. The drawing of the rooster was a nice touch, but getting here was a lot more challenging than just realizing what my goal was. Anyway, it is done. It doesn't look like I'm being followed or even that anyone knows about this house. Yeah, it's not like I'm anyone be am being followed, plus the place, northern Tuscany, is very remote. And, or even that no, or anyone knows about this house. But I don't blame Leonardo for wanting to make sure. It's always better to be careful. But now it's time for me to get the chronicle and make my way to Rome. Rome, here I come. With the chronicle. I cannot walk over the bridge unless it's anchored on the other side. Should wait until it's done moving. It's stopped moving. Let's go. Alright, now that we have it, good thing. Let's just hope nobody came to steal it. Plus, the door was open as well. Aha, here it is. Well, that brings the end of chapter 2, and let's take this chronicle and go to Rome. I finally have everything prepared to follow Leonardo to Rome. Alright, goodbye Tuscany, no, farewell Tuscany, hello Rome. Farewell folks.